Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's someone, and welcome back to another smoke sesh. I believe this is season five, episode five, and today's episode is going to be covering unhealthy habits you should try and stop. Now, off this list, I'm sure all of us could probably admit to, you know, being at fault for doing some of these things. Some of us may not even be aware of these things. But I came up with a brief list here of a few things you could try and stop today that could help you in the long run. But also for this episode, we are here to announce how this series is going to change as well. So we got a decent bit to talk about, but before we get to that, we're gonna light up. We got a fat ass dab. It's fucking 420 in the morning. That's right, 420 in the morning. If it's 420 p.m. or where, whatever, where you are hey join me or if it's not i mean uh, who, who who doesn't like to light up right join me feel free to we're gonna spark up and take this dab So pretty good way to uh, start the day and get gassed up for sure a go-to of, of how i like to start my my day but let's jump into this list it isn't too long but like i said you should be able to find something to help you or at least this should be a nice good reminder but the first one is a pretty obvious one i put down but it's smoking blunts and not a uh, hemp wraps. <coughs> <coughs> Though I was reading some shit of hemp wraps containing arsenic and how that may be bad. But that's actually not for this video. We're talking about the tobacco blunts because there is a lot of people that I know that will just smoke these casually. Which, I mean, for a lot of these people I see that a big reason is because well they don't necessarily like joints or they don't really know about hemp wraps or they don't really know how to roll hemp wraps these are reasons that i see people stick to blunts but really in my opinion uh, you can roll a hemp wrap to pretty much smoke up like a blunt and if you are having the trouble of rolling a decent hemp wrap uh, you just gotta take your time. I mean, it, it does depend on the hemp wrap, what brand it is. To be honest, I notice brands kind of hold differently, just kind of have a different uh, texture and whatnot. So it's gonna depend, but at least the sensation and and just like the way it burns is pretty much on par to what a normal blunt would be. Of course, there's gonna be some slight differences. Uh, I've had fucking some people say. Mm, that hemp wrap hits differently like oh uh, no shit um you're fucking smoking nicotine all the time so you're probably looking for a nicotine high on top of your uh your butt high so it's just something else uh to be aware of especially if you don't think about it too much but the next thing i want to bring up um uh, it's something i didn't really know at the start either and uh, i had a friend not too long ago bring it up to me uh, or or it might might have been a subscriber, but I pretty much had someone say to me like, I think they had a bowl or whatever they got their first bowl, or it may have been a bong, whatever. Either or, same situation applies. This person told me they ran out of weed or whatever, and they said, oh, I can still get high or I can still get some uh, smoke if I just uh, light through the the bowl or whatever and basically to the point where you would be smoking the resin that's inside your bowl that's that's basically what was or what would be going on here and this is un clearly a unhealthy habit because this is comparable to like pretty much like smoking tar or whatever even if it is you know weed resin this stuff is going to be a lot harder on your lungs and just carry a lot more risk in general on your health I've been in some shitty situations before where I've been desperate 
and I would just smoke a hit or two of some resin. But I have seen that it is possible to, you know, just be ignorant of the fact that you're smoking this. Or maybe you don't care as much. I see some people like to uh, kind of queer through their uh, pieces because there will be, you know, some uh, resiny consistency that can get stuck that blocks up the airflow in your pieces. And an easy way to get rid of that would to just be suck through and burn through any resin that's there. Which brings me to my next point, which is going to be lighters. Instead of a lighter, use a hemp wick or an electric lighter for an example. There's so many people that light up using a, well, like a big lighter. And you know, the big lighters, they're classic and whatnot, but at the end of the day, they contain butane, and so with every light up, you're pretty much inhaling some butane. Now, this one can be a little more inconvenient and only really applies to the person, you know, lighting the blunt joint piece, whatever. But the next point is switching out your water if you have a bong, bubble, or whatever. Now, this one I was definitely more relaxed about when I first started smoking. But especially with, you know, heavy use and time, you don't want some kind of fungus or fucking bacteria growing in your, your pieces, obviously, because then uh, when you actually use them, you're actually inhaling whatever can be growing in there. I mean, you got to think about it. It's water. You're probably going to have resin eventually in there at some point. It's pretty much inevitable. But this brings me to my next point which is uh, not cleaning your pieces enough. Some people will go, you know, just months without fucking <laughs> giving their shit a wash. And by a wash, I don't mean, you know, just rinsing the shit out. You need to get a good cleaning on this shit, get some nice, like, isopropanol, 90% uh, plus, whatever. Then let it soak for a day or whatever. And... You know, just see what that shit does. Especially for places that, you know, you can't reach and just scrub out uh, manually. Then this next one is, don't put ice in the barn. Now, at the beginning, a lot of people told me, and there was just this conception, I guess, that if you use the ice in your barn, uh, it would uh, cool down the smoke a lot more. So it would be a nice, cooler hit. Now, while this is true to some degree, you can actually uh, put yourself at danger and possibly damage your lungs by doing this by cooling the smoke too much. This can indirectly cause a lot of vasoconstriction and suppress your immune system. And the last thing I want to bring up is not so much more a physical health thing, but more so a, I guess, it can be a financial thing, depending on how you uh, like to use your time thing. But I'm talking about social smoking. Now, especially when I was younger, I was more so in this stage where I would look to go match every night or things eventually just came to be about, you know, getting high with my friends or whatever. And this, you know, wants and whatever, you know, it's eventually gonna, you know, cost you. Especially if, you know, you're just buying apes at a time and shit. Now, I don't think this is the biggest thing to break. I've been in this stage before and it's just, you know, coming to realize where you're at and what you're doing and really if it's, you know, serving you all that well. But we're going to end the first part of the video here. Now, I want to make an announcement for this smoke session series and just how it's going to change and how this format and just the way I've been doing things for these first five seasons how it's uh, probably, I, I don't want to say it's never going to come back, but if it does come back, we're mainly going to have bonus episodes. But b before I start getting, in, getting more into this, well, let's spark up a little bit more. All right, yo, we're back. Uh, you guys might be a little bit confused, but uh, I'm recording this uh, the next day because my girl walked in as soon as I was about to light up. And uh, I think I was about to do a dab, but uh, uh, some shit came up yesterday. Didn't finish the video. But hey, we're here to finish the video today. Fresh. So let's get high. <laughs> let's get high. And 
let's spark up and then let's break down the new format uh we're most likely going to be taking on uh in the future but let's spark up <coughs> so basically i mean for this new format, if you looked, we've done uh, quite the number on cannabis and just cannabis related topics with our smoke sessions. And that's basically been the theme up until the fourth season where we, uh, at the end of each season on the sixth episode, we would have a special trip sesh video. I believe you've only done two of those so far. But so far, we, we've been doing that. But at this point in time, I feel like I talked enough and talked about what I've wanted to talk about with cannabis. And I'm not saying this will be forever, but in the future, I'm going to want to switch it up because, I mean, even so, there is some other things I guess you can say I haven't talked about. But because cannabis is so popular itself, I feel like you know, there's already some other people talking about it or uh, you know i'm not really bringing you know a ton new to the table with this so what we're gonna be doing instead is the smoke sessions the, i mean they're gonna stay smoke sessions i guess but they're going to be basically based off smoke sessions how is cannabis in combination with something like uh kana or um hydrocodone or fucking mushrooms or uh something like that for example any substance basically this is what this series is going to turn into a uh, combination and i'm thinking i'm going to only do like three episodes per season we may do four episodes i'm planning to keep the trip sessions uh so at the end of each episode so the only really thing that will be changing is the base episodes. I mean, that you know, it is a pretty big thing, but it isn't huge. It's almost like a new series is starting up, but the series is just, you know, evolving, I guess. But we're going to leave it there for today. If you guys did enjoy this topic, if you're excited for the, the new formatting, the new, the next season, I should say, or even the next episode, because we do have a trip sesh the next episode, let me know below and we'll get to that. If you did like it though, like the video, subscribe if you aren't already, follow the socials, it's for someone that's no one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.